Hi all, uh, today let's make an unboxing and installation video for RMS 301 IECG machine. This is a 3 channel device. So let's begin with the unboxing first. So firstly we have a complete pack list of the device. All the accessories and everything which is mentioned during the packing. Then we have ECG patient cable. This is a 10 lead cable. Next we have the user manual of the device. Next we have bulb electrodes, one ECG paper roll and earthing cable. Next we have one 250 ml bottle of ECG gel. and we have two fuse and power adapter and power cord uh, this is all the accessories which is there in the box and also the clamp electrodes and this is the main device itself so now let's see the installation of the device rms 301 i ecg machine so now uh, this is the main device uh, it has a, a display screen uh, we have the keypad here and uh, the power supply and the battery indications will be shown here here there is a printer where you will have to put in the ECG paper roll behind this is the on off button uh, this is the connection for earthing cable this is where you will have to put the fuse and this is for power supply connection then towards the right there is a connection for ECG patient cable now to start the device firstly we need to uh, add in the fuse the instructions are also given in the box so let's connect the fuse first so we'll have to insert the fuse so once the fuse is connected uh, we can connect the power cord and then you have the on off button so on uh, as the device turns on uh, we can initially put in the patient information by clicking on uh, the keypad here uh, you can put in uh, patient ID name age and all the basic information here uh, here it indicates press enter so once you've entered all the data press enter button to save all the information and then you can also go to uh, menu where it uh, shows you uh, four options for acquisition review settings and pc ecg uh, for acquisition if there's a new patient that you've entered the patient information you can press in for acquisition you can see the uh, ecg uh, waveform here as i've not connected the uh, cable uh, it's a straight line Next in the menu you can go for review, uh, once the uh, patient ECG acquisition is done you can also review and uh, save the data. So you can review the uh, patient ID, the name, uh, which patient ECG it is, you can also save it by uh, after the acquisition is done. Next uh, settings in which you can select the mode, uh, mode there are two auto and manual, interpretation, this is measurement and analysis, uh, medians, long lead, BLC, uh, all this uh, has an option of on or off, Clinic information, you can enter your uh, clinic information here, the doctor's name, clinic name, address and the telephone number. Time and date setting can be done and print format. So this is all in the uh, menu settings. The PC ECG option is not showing here available because this device is without PC connectivity. 
if there is pc uh, ecg available then you can see these two uh, options being available which is a usb uh, connection and you will also get a usb cable and a, a software cd for the pc ecg for the device which has pc connectivity so now in the printing here there is an ecg which is already printed so this is how uh, the print comes with all the patient information and all the leads lead 1 lead 2 lead 3 here a summary and here all the parameters and interpretation report with the physician's comment and the doctor's name so this is all the unboxing and installation video uh, for rms 301i ecg machine which is a three channel device without pc connectivity